Do you expect me to talk? No, Mr. Bond, I expect you to talk. Welcome back to the Patreon episode of Kill James Bond, where we A your cues. You have cues, we have A's, and we will A those cues now. That's right. You know who we are. We're, We're not going to introduce cues. ourselves. Our names We're... are not important. <laughs> That's right. That's right. We're here only to A cues. How is everyone doing today? Uh, well, it's insanely hot, and I began this morning by um, my doctor being like, oh, the gender identity clinic have lost your blood. <laughs> We, we, we took it. some. We took. We took some blood from you to establish how much girl you are as a percentage, and mm. we lost that. So we we're gonna need you to come in at eleven thirty in the morning British time and get some more blood sucked out, so we can we can do your levels again. Mm. So I am I am mentally deranged from having walked two miles in the sun and then have having a bunch of my blood sucked out. How are you all doing? That's so good that they just like, oh, yeah, yeah, we did this stuff, but we fucking lost it. Like, oh, we, gender we lost identity blood, clinics sorry. continuing to be just the absolute standard for international medicine. I mean, really, the quality of care that we get in this country is just <laughs> so good, isn't it? You're on that waiting list, and then you get there, and they're like, yeah, we actually don't do shit here. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Right, it's, it's such a fucking joke that you, like, wait... 20 something years to get into the gender identity clinic and then when you get in the quality of service is just fucking shit the quality <laughs> of the service they're just like here's some, here's some fucking pills fuck off <laughs> oh you got pills i got come back for like three psychiatrist visits across a year and then maybe at the end of that we'll consider giving you some pills yeah. yeah so you should be buying hormones on the black market is basically the the kill james bond stance we legally legally we can't tell you to do that we can However, if it's estrogen it's perfectly legal to yeah. you can absolutely fill your boots with black market estrogen it's not a it's controlled substance legal. you can't do yeah. it with testosterone that um, is a controlled substance well, that is a crime uh, However, you can very easily buy estrogen on the internet. I am told. Obviously, our our, our position is that crimes are bad, mm -hmm. and you should not do them. We also cannot do tell you to go to crimes. your doctor if you are assigned male at birth and say that you want testosterone blockers to prevent baldness, and then when they say, please tick this box to confirm that you're not trans, you just lie. We cannot tell you to do that. Um, I certainly don't know anybody who's done it and it worked. Um, but, uh, Flawlessly but, as well. Yeah. But don't do it. Yeah. But don't do that. I, I am also that. deranged. I have got bad brain today. Um, I'm <laughs> very disheartened. I couldn't find somewhere to cut Aww. as a promo for the, the Rising Sun episode. Well, it's because we didn't do any jokes in it, which in hindsight was a bit of an error. Uh, so I'm solving that by creating a decoction. I see. I, now, I see no, the monster what? energy in your hand. So if you could describe for the audience And I see also in your other hand... So wow. it's a monster energy punch and a bottle of Havana Club, the politically correct Cuban whiskey. That's uh, right. Not Bacardi. The, the, uh, dark Cuban rum into a punch monster, and we'll see ah. what that does to me. What do you call this combination, Def? Call it the Thunderball. That's right. Ah, <laughs> yeah, sure. Very, okay. very cool. That's nice, actually. The official cocktail of the podcast is uh, by the King dark, James Bond dark cocktail Havana. book. Is it rum or, or whiskey? Rum, yeah, yeah. Dark rum, Havana rum. rum and James, James Bond punch. being really finicky about this drink order. Like it's a specific, it's a specific kind of monster punch. I love oh, monster I energy, especially when it's shoved at the correct temperature of minus whatever the fuck degrees <laughs> Fahrenheit. <laughs> monster minus. punch shoved at the correct temperature of ninety-two point four degrees. Uh, I have got some cues. I have gone through. Yeah, yeah, cue us those cues. And do try to bring the cues back in one piece, Double O Seven. The hogs. Um, hmm. Great work. I asked this on Monday, and we're recording this Wednesday, and we had like 105-ish questions wow. for me to pick through. Good so Lord. mathematically, at least a few of them have been good. Um, okay, but like uh, 90 of those are going to be too Abigail, and it, they're going to be like, drop the skincare routine. You know what? <laughs> Half of nope. them are like, will you date me? And I was like, no. It's just an attached picture of them and being like, so what do you what do you reckon? 
Like People actually this. do I'm, email me like that. Yeah. I'm like, no. You, you, you yeah, come here I often. I did that in confidence. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the only way to start a relationship with Abigail Thorne, as we know, begin a podcast with her. Yes, see me. I thought you were just going to put in the boo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the only um, way to start a relationship with me is beep. So let's just rip that bandaid off real quick. A bunch of people asked this. We've had three bonds. Fuck, marry, kill. Ooh. <sighs> Hard hitting. Well, right I'm not gate. marrying Lazenby for self preservation reasons. Yeah, that's a great shout. Yes, good point. Ooh. <laughs> 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 Shit, because that would have been my marry. <laughs> you yeah, know what? It is yeah. still. Marry Lazenby. For me, it's going to be marry Lazenby. Um, I'm going to kill Roger Moore. I'm sorry. I'm fucking Connery. Yeah, we have to kill, we have to kill Roger Moore. I, 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 I am going to, like, uh, I'm going to marry Connery, but then, like, murder him in his sleep, something which will be extremely easy because I can just strap him into a wiggler. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm I'm gonna fuck Lazenby because he's like gonna be the most considerate lover, and I'm gonna uh kill Roger Moore. Uh no, I, I think I think I think I'm gonna marry George Lazenby. Mm -hmm. um, Abby, no, <laughs> I'm marrying. Well, Lazenby. I, I I would simply duck. You know, when the car when Blofer comes by, I would simply <laughs> I would simply bend over and that'd be fine. Rip um, to Diana Rig. What but... what are you doing, bending over in the car with George Lazenby at a quiet lane? I'm avoiding being question. shot. Is is what I'm doing. Mm. Um. Mm. Uh, well, he he would later deny it to the press. Of course, he didn't know that I was trans at the time. Um. He was just looking for cocaine. <laughs> but um. <laughs> Uh, but I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill Sean Connery. Uh, I, I love fuck Roger Moore, just to say, you know what I did. Ima Im imagine those eyebrows going up and down my, while he's my, like inside of you. <laughs> my issue with fucking wow. Roger Moore is that he would just Delightful keep saying shit, Roger Moore, the whole time. I reckon. Yeah, well, the thing is, right? He, he you would get the like doot doot horns when it, oh, whenever he he'd like when when he came, right? It would be like. But James, I need you. So does England. He's just coming at this point. I think you're assuming that I would let him come. There's there's many yeah. many ways to fuck. So this is more of a like dom type fucking. I I see. Well, it, well, it could be. It just says fuck. Like, you could peg Roger Moore, like. <laughs> Peg James Bond. <laughs> I'm just saying you could do it. Yeah, you we're could. changing the name of the podcast to no. Peg James Bond. No. Please. For, for, for Pride Month. For Pride Month. Happy Pride. Is this going to come out during Pride? I don't actually think actually, it is. Actually, you know what? Maybe I would change my answer, because if, if we're going down that route, then I would peg Connery for the fun of it. Um, oh, no. This is coming out on uh, Wednesday the 30th of June, so the last day of Pride Still Month. Still gay. Peg Sean, Peg Sean Connery, just because I think that would be funny. Um, and uh, can we can we like intercut the footage of uh, Connery on the Wiggler at this point? <laughs> I don't want to. I will, but I don't want to. I'm mm. um, actually. Mm. I uh, I don't know if his story is true, so uh, my apologies to the estate of Sean Connery. But we are behind the paywall, so I can just like just libel if I want. Yeah. Yeah. That, uh, a friend of a friend apparently once won a round of golf with Sean Connery. Um, yeah, pegged him. And <laughs> on the first hole, ha -ha, uh, he asked uh -huh. Sean Connery, he's like, look, you, you, you've obviously slept with some very beautiful, like, famous women over the years. Who, who's been your favourite? Um, and Connery kind of looked at him with, like, disgust, and they played the rest of the match without really saying anything. And apparently, at the very end, when they finished, uh, Connery just came up and said, Raquel Walsh. Up the arse <laughs> and walked away. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how true that oh is. Uh, my apologies to the Connery family if that's just I, completely I made up, but that's what I was it. told. Yes, I was pegged by Raquel Welsh. Hmm. 